really quickly, this is my Helix. It's an all-in-one multi-effects amp sim pedal platform unit. And in the world of amp sims and pedal platform multi-effects units, it's one of three or four really flagship ones that everyone kind of goes to and talks about. But if you're watching this video, you probably already knew that. But what I found interesting more recently is not just looking into the top tier line models, but looking into the wider variety that any company offers. And in this case, when talking about Lions X Helixes, HX Stomps, Pod Goes, anything sort of in that lower range of Helix alternatives and options. So even amongst all of those units that people have quite frankly been using for years, more recently, Line 6 has actually decided to release something a little bit different, but also very similar in a lot of ways. So that begs the question, who is this actually for? So to answer the first and probably most pressing question, what this is, is the HX1 from Line 6, and it's a multi-effects pedal. And while this is not a Helix, there are a lot of Helix-like things that this can do. Because it's a multi-effects pedal, it's basically whatever you need it to be. So let's assume you needed a reverb. Or you're on your way to a gig and now you need a distortion pedal. So as you can probably tell from what I was just explaining, this thing right here would give someone access to pretty much all of the effects in the HX library. This one would be used to from using like a Helix or an HX Stomp or anything in that vein. But what Line 6 is claiming makes this thing new and different is actually a parameter called Flux. And let me explain. So basically to put it in as simple terms as possible, it's parameter automation. And those are big words, so let me break that down even a little bit more. So let's pretend that I was playing a set where I needed a medium to small amount of reverb during the verses and then during the choruses I wanted a big huge reverb almost like an ambient thing. This would allow me to basically switch immediately between those two presets that I had made within a single effect. So for the verses for the chorus Same thing would work with any such effect, distortion, delay, to the point where you can get a little weird with it, especially if you were using some of the pitch effects that I don't really use on a regular basis, but they can get really interesting. So basically what you're telling me is this thing right here, it has the entire library from HX, it's from the same company, but that's where the whole premise of what I'm talking about actually comes from. It may be tempting to say this is just a Helix, but it's not, it's not at all. This is not a Helix. Not only that, this is not an HX Stomp, this is not a Podgo, it's an entire thing completely. And 
the main reason comes in because this has no amp modeler on it. It's not meant to be an all-in-one solution like we're used to with a lot of units nowadays that come out. It's not meant to replace your entire rig so that you can only bring the HX1 to a gig. That'll never happen unless you only wanted a compressor and we're doing the whole Nile Rodgers, Corey Wong thing. So interestingly enough, that actually prompted a lot of big questions for someone like me. For someone who's used to bringing a lot of these all-in-one solutions to gigs, I have probably three or four of them. Why would someone strictly want to use a multi-effects pedal with no amp sim? And that's where I actually ended up going to a lot of my friends who are other guitar players, and I asked them that specific question. Why, what terms would you want for using strictly a multi-effects pedal? Now, a lot of the answers that I got had specifically something to do with people who like using real amps with some of their outside effects and don't necessarily want to use amp sims within a built-in unit like the Helix. Now, obviously that doesn't cover all of the territory as to why someone would use a multi-effects pedal as in this or an HX stomp or something specifically used for effects, not an amp, but that was one of the main reasons that I kept finding. Now, why someone would want to use something like this, I think I kind of have the answer to that. And it's gonna sound weird for a second because there's one spec I haven't quite told you about this unit yet. And that's the fact that unlike the HX Stomp, this thing right here can only really use one effect at a time. Now, for a lot of Helix users or guys similar to me who would use all-in-one pedal platforms in a live setting or in a studio, that might seem like a step back, but that's where my whole entire point of this video is like, who is this pedal for? It's not for Helix users. It's not for Helix users at all. This thing right here isn't meant to be a replacement for the Helix. This is for a completely different player and a completely different person. I mean, if you have a Helix and you already have access to that library, it would never be something that you would need or want to use. However, to give you the most accurate representation of what I'm thinking, the Helix is sort of like your full five course meal. This right here is an appetizer. And in a lot of ways, I think supposed to be a gateway into the world of like HX effects and whatnot. I think like I was saying, if people are looking for a successor to the Helix, one of the things that I've been noticing more and more as these amp modelers started to age over time, as I got them, I was really scared that after having been out for the Helix now about eight or nine years, that it wouldn't sound as up to date as it does. But I don't think it's for everyone to want to go fully into the Helix world. So even if you're not necessarily using a real amp, if you're using any sort of different amp, like for this video, for all the tones that I was using it for previously, if I wanted a specific pedal board, like with the ACS-1 that I was just using, or a pedal like the Dream 65, or any sort of amp model, or in any vein, that doesn't have an inboard multi-effects unit, this thing right here would become sort of a utility pedal. The perceived downside being that you only have one effect, but it really is more of an Uno wildcard, as long as you know beforehand what you're doing, or what specifically you want it to do. With a Helix, or with any of my other all-in-one rig solutions, there are a lot of times when going into a gig, there's something I need to split specifically on the fly. And because of just the way that I know that people really love effects loops nowadays and being able to put things before or in the middle or after the amp, you would have to make a decision going in beforehand where this thing is going to go. But like I said, that's where we get into our Uno wildcard effect, because if you have this just as a reverb, you now have pretty much every single reverb in there that you would get out of a Helix, and you can control all of your other specific parameters that you want differently from all of your other pedals and all of your other amps. Same thing if you would want a distortion, very similarly to having something like a JHS Clover, where you'd be able to get the TS-808 or different types of distortion or different gains with the Flux, just figuring out how you want to use different things. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the moral of the story is that this pedal I'm thinking is not for the Helix user, but more for like the M5 or multi-effects guy, which is interesting because the second guitar pedal that I ever got in my entire life was a multi-effects pedal, and at the time I didn't know how to use it. To see how my opinion has changed over the past eight or nine years, and even to talk to some of my other friends who are also guitar players and see what their opinions are on multi-effects pedals, that's really been an eye-opener. But it doesn't matter what I think, I wanna know what you think. Have you tried the HX1? Are you excited to try it? Are you a Helix user? Do you not see the point of multi-effects pedals as a whole? Tell me what you think in the comments, please. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. 
so much fun to be able to check out stuff. If you want to know anything more about this or how to get it, make sure to check out the links in the description. One of the best ways to support the channel if that's something you want to do, or if you're just curious about any of the other gear that I use, make sure to check out those links. Like and subscribe if you had a good time, and most important, like most importantly of all, have a fantastic day.